Hi, I'm Dr. Messina, and today I'm going to be discussing a few tattoos that are absolute nightmares to try to remove with a laser. We're not going to be talking about the standard yellows and whites. We all know those are already going to be problems. We're going to be looking at some special types of tattoos and tattoo inks. So stay tuned. First, we have the fluorescent tattoo. I personally love them. I think they are so cool. As a child of the 60s, it reminds me of the days when we used to get our rock and roll posters, put on some iron butterfly and turn on a black light, and all these posters would light up, and then your parents would come in your room and they'd be like, this is drugs, this is drugs. Well, I still love those tattoos, and I love those posters too. They're very difficult to remove. I don't see many fluorescent tattoos, but the two or three that I've seen over the last 12 years have been really impossible to get off. It doesn't seem like they absorb the wavelength of light coming out of the laser. The next are the black tattoos that tend to look like a tobacco burst color. They're not black and they're not brown. They're kind of a mixture of a black and brown. And I found that they just don't respond properly. If it was black, almost every laser would be able to take that off. But it doesn't seem to do it. It seems to only absorb it to a certain degree. Sometimes a brown you could treat like a red. And that might start to take that off. Except it doesn't when it comes to these tobacco burst looking tattoos. I know I keep saying tobacco burst, that's because I play guitar and Fender Stratocaster makes a tobacco burst guitar and it's stuck in my head. But as far as what the tattoo would be called, it looks like a brownish black color. If you have that, it might be very difficult to remove. The next type of ink is the ink that has an oil base. The oil based tattoos, I haven't seen as many in the recent years as I did, let's say about seven years ago. The oil-based tattoos look almost like you're rubbing baby oil on them. In fact, the first one I saw, I thought that the patient did put an oil on it and I was trying to wipe it off with alcohol. And he told me, no, it's always this way. It had almost like a shine to it. It looked almost like wet paint. Again, it seemed to reflect the laser. And the weird thing about it was it responded like it was going to be great. In other words, when you see these videos, when you laser a tattoo, it cavitates and it gets white. Well, this would. And he would come back in six weeks and it was like nothing was done. And usually in my practice, if we do three sessions and I don't see anything, I recommend stopping. But for some reason, these oil-based tattoos, when you laser them, respond like it's gonna work, and then the ink just sits there. So if you got one of those tattoos that looks like it's wet all the time, you might want to leave that alone. The next tattoo will be the tattoos that look luminescent. In other words, they look almost like they're lit up from the inside. I've noticed a lot of like scene tattoos have it or monster faces have it. I don't know what makes it luminescent like that. Whether it's a white base or some kind of a mineral in there that's doing it, but I found when the tattoo looks almost like it's illuminated from the inside, it tends to not absorb the laser light. And then finally, we have the green inks. Green is kind of funny. A ruby laser or an alexandrite laser will both target green, whether they're picosecond or Q-switched. However, there are several greens that just won't respond. They all look green to the naked eye but there's a substance in two of them that make it very difficult to come out. Most of the greens have something called a phthalocyanide dye in it, which is extremely difficult to break down. Remember, these lasers are shattering the ink into smaller particles. That dye tends to be extremely resistant to being fractured. So if you have a lot of green in your ink, it might not come out all the way. That's something to always think about. So I hope this helped you out a little bit. If you have any of these tattoos, you might just want to keep them or do a cover up on them. 
and I'll see you at the next video. Remember, if you do like this type of information, my channel talks about tattoo removal, rejuvenation, lasers, and on occasion, medical topics of significance, then give me a thumbs up, hit the bell so you'll be alerted to the future videos, and I'll see you at the next video.